In this video, I'm going to pay three Unity game developers on Fiverr to make me a game with one tiny twist. They have to make it with the Gato engine. Here are the rules. One, you have to use Gato. Two, assets can be used if needed. And three, it must fit the theme you're not supposed to be here. Does Unity experience translate to Gato? Let's find out. Before we see the games, I want to thank Fiverr for sponsoring this video. Fiverr offers tons of services in a wide range of categories like programming, AI, and an oddly large number of Morgan Freeman impressions. They also have game developer services, from minor bug fixes to full game creation. If you want to check out Fiverr for yourself or any of the developers in this video, you'll find the links in the description. And you can use the code STAYATHOMEDEV for 10% off any services. To start, I needed to find my three developers, aka victims. I started my search by filtering for Unity developers, and hey, they have a Gato option. I found a huge list of developers, some more legit than others. So apparently this guy solo dev to The Last of Us, which is pretty impressive. In the end, I found three developers that fit my budget of $150 per game and were willing to temporarily disown Unity and switch to the Gato engine. And again, they can create anything they want. It can be 2D, 3D horror, platformer, whatever. It just has to be made in Gato and follow the theme. The first game was created by Oluwabe Josiah. All right, so I've not played or tested this. Here we go. Wow, we got a 3D game. I was not expecting 3D at all. You are now at the general's door. E to pick the lock. What? We've got like a Skyrim lockpick thing. Are we going to get this on the first try? <laughs> no. No, we're not. Wow, this is a whole room. Okay, now keep in mind, this developer has never used Gato before. I have to say I'm pretty impressed. Considering how long I, I really gave them to, to make this, this is pretty cool. Find the architectural document on the laptop. Got an actual like working flashlight? All right, laptop. I've been, tra I've been, oh, I got a timer. You've been trapped and locked inside the restricted office. Find a way to escape before it's too late. Explore the room for clues and objects that can help you unlock the door. Time is running out. Man, it's like an escape room. Okay. Dear intruder, you should not be here and you know it. There's the theme. We've got a, a rook and a king. Let's look around a little bit and see. Oh, here we go. That's a that's a lot to read. Huh. I have no idea. Oh, we got another page. To move the pawn, you must first solve the number that makes the lock revolve. Um, I'm going to fail this so hard got a lot of the uh bill bryson novels really big fan of the uh bill bryson if there's anything over here another page okay so we have one two three i reign but my reign is confined by the squares i can find when a fearless steed bars my path that's got to be a knight Grant, i don't have anything to like write with i feel like i should be writing this down one two three four enter so i think we have four pages and Butts. I wonder if butts is important. We have four numbers we gotta input. Yet my partitions you must count to reach my core. All right, I think that's bookcase. I think these are the bookcases, right? My partitions you must count. So that's how many shelves? Okay, we got one, two, six. Add, what? Add up my thin walls and thick sides as well. So there's three, so nine. Can I even put this in? What happens if I, oh, I gotta do it all at once? I'm not ready. Okay, nine, let's do nine for the first one. I'm gonna so get this wrong. Man, if I don't get this on the first try, I'm gonna be super bummed. But my reign is confined by the squares I can find. That's the king. So it's a king, four. All right, so number two, four, we have nine. Wait, no, the king can move nine spaces. Seven, eight, eight, I can count. I swear I can count. Where's my number three? Add two and four and one more, that's seven. Multiply by two. Divide by one? Why would you divide by one? Okay, this one this one I don't know. So far we have nine and eight. I don't think there's anything over here except for comfort. So let's not worry about that. Butts. I don't know what butts is. Though I stand empty and alone, my numbers are not clearly shown. Speak the sum, both great and small, the lonely seats within my walls. Okay. Oh, hey. The comfort does matter. <laughs> How many chairs? All right, I think we may just need to start trying some numbers. All right, we had nine, eight, and six. And six. Oh, if I get it wrong, I... Okay, we're, we're gonna get this figured out. Man, 
I really wanted to get it on the first try. Partitions, that has to be the, the bookshelf. The product is where you've now begun. Is that where we start? Nine, six. Whoa, why did it? Well, why, why did I die that last time? Hmm, I'm never gonna get out of here. Oh, wait, that's not the king. It's the rook. I reign, but my reign is confined because the knight is next to the rook. Nine. You've met your... Why did I die that? Why did, why did this person put all these papers around to let me out? That's that's the real question. I mean, I guess you could sit on the table. Mm, totally forgotten that this was made for this video. I just want to solve it. Seven. 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 Maybe it's just six. We could try it. Like that's either that's either six or nine. This one, I don't know. Six. Zero. Seven. Seven. Son of. A I was gonna try one or one or two. Seven. Seven. <sighs> this lockpick is my punishment every time. This is the one. This is the one I don't know. Seven. Seven. All right, the first one's six. Seven. Seven. Oh, we did it. That was way more than I expected. So uh, congrats on that on that game. The second game was created by Edipt Yekta GLR. All right, game number two. Let's check it out. This one's called Heroism. Got a negative score. I got some, some flying skulls. Okay, if I hold space, is there... I can fly. Oh, there we go. And then I press up. Okay. So we're getting, why are we getting a negative score? Oh, we got lasers. Can I, uh, I can run my score down if I, uh, shoot the people and fly faster. It's a lot of stuff. Let's see if there's anything over here. Nothing. Talk to people. Do you value human life? My power is unmatched. Why don't you intervene more? I save people for personal gain. All right, so I think the idea, he's a superhero, but he's not. Sort of a bad guy who's uh, expected to be good, but, but isn't. In that case, he doesn't belong. I, I, I buy that. All right, game-wise, um, I do appreciate the, the flying mechanics. I kind of like the character animation. The, uh, the ray shooting from the eyes is actually, I kind of like that. It's nice. So it's, it's close to a game. I see the intention. It's still pretty impressive to do without any experience in Gato. So props on that. I think my favorite part is actually the talking to people. I would have liked maybe some more options and some, uh, some different ideas. It's still a pretty decent amount of, of work put into this. So. Kudos. The third game, well, actually, I had a huge problem with the third game. So the developer for the third game just didn't do it. And I don't have a third game. <sighs> I want to get the video out in like two or three days. I need to get the video approved first. And to do that, I need a third game and I, I got nothing. All right, here's the play. We don't have a third game. We don't have a third developer. It would take too long to get somebody new. I'm gonna do it. But obviously I can't use Gato. I use Gato all the time. I'm going to make a game in Unity. I've opened Unity like one time. So I think this is going to work. I hope. So our hero, facing impossible odds, pressed ever onward. Thanks to Fiverr's dispute system, his money was quickly returned. With renewed focus, he used some of the money as a bonus for the two developers who delivered. The remaining funds were used to hire me to provide dramatic gravitas to the story of this video. The day turned to night as he worked tirelessly creating a game in Unity with only a few hours to spare. Whether this endeavor would lead to triumph or defeat, only time and a number of likes would tell. Okay, so it's about one in the morning and I was working on my game and you can't even see me right now. It crashed and I, I lost everything. It's just gone. I, I don't know what to do. Super frustrated. 
Yeah. I'm going to think for like five minutes and then I'll, I'll be right back. All right. So here's the deal. I've got to get this done tonight, this morning. I, I don't know, whatever time it is. I'm going to have to do something completely different. It would take too long to recreate. It's going to be really simple. I'm going to go for looks. It's going to look really good. The gameplay is going to be not as much as I thought or hoped for, but is what it is. You find yourself on an alien planet in the middle of an oddly colored ocean. Despite the familiarity of the wooden boat you are in, you know you don't belong. Dark alien objects begin to appear deep underwater, chasing you. And if you're too slow to outmaneuver them, your fate is sealed. So it's not the best thing I've ever made, but I have to say I really Enjoyed working in Unity, minus the fact that it crashed and destroyed my entire project. Thanks to the developers who switched to Gato for a hot minute, and be sure to check out Fiverr for game development services using the link in the description. And don't forget, you can use a coupon code STAYATHOMEDEV for 10% off anything you get. Let me know your thoughts about the games in the comments, and until next time, keep creating.